Hi, I'm Georgia. I'm a lifestyle writer for Hello Online. And this week on Royally Challenging, I'm gonna be taking on the Duchess of Cambridge's workout routine. Now, if you were here for my last Royal Challenge, you'll remember that I spent the week sleeping like the queen. But something tells me that this challenge is gonna be quite a lot harder. <laughs> the Duchess is a self-professed fitness lover. She's incredibly athletic. And from my own research, I can gauge that her workout routine definitely isn't for the faint-hearted. So we've got CrossFit, HIIT, running, cycling, rowing, weight training, yoga, Pilates. So there's quite a lot for me to get stuck into over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> And I think the biggest challenge for me is just fitting in the sheer amount of exercise I'm gonna be doing. I would describe my current approach to health and fitness as a, as and when you feel like it kind of approach. So I think it will help. I'm looking forward to it, but we'll see how we get on. So I'm trying my hand at weight training today. I don't know a huge amount about weight training, but I'm off to David Lloyd to speak with a personal trainer who will hopefully be able to give me some tips and share some insights. Juliana, a personal trainer at David Lloyd Kensington, who's going to give me a lowdown on weightlifting. What are the benefits of weightlifting as a woman specifically? It doesn't matter the range of age you are, the benefits can be from like make you leaner and stronger, make you burn a little bit more in terms of fat. The Duchess of Cambridge is incredibly lean, but she's not bulky. What kind of weight training exercises would you recommend for someone who doesn't want that bulk but wants to get lean? Just do a type of exercise, can be squats, can be different type of things that you do, but that is not too heavy. So how many times would you recommend someone incorporated weight training into their routine? I recommend try to do something with resistance, with weights, mm -hmm. at least twice, three times per week. Mm -hmm. But try to add a little bit of weights could be just a bicep car, do some no shoulder press, things like that at least three times per week. That's going to make you know, a big massive difference. So Juliana's gonna take me to the gym floor and we're gonna do some basic weight training. Now, this workout might look simple, but the burn the next day was unreal. Just goes to show you don't need heavy weights to target specific muscle groups. So I'm at Sky Garden today and I'm here to do a spot with Sunrise Yoga. So I'm really excited. The Duchess supposedly starts her day with a super green smoothie. So of course, I made sure I was lapping up all the spirulina goodness as much as I could during the challenge. And I really needed to fuel my body in order to stay energized for the amount of exercise I was doing. Here, I'm making one of the Duchess's favorite recipes, a vegetarian spicy curry. And I also tried to stay active as much as possible, opting to cycle at the weekends or walk to work. halfway through the challenge and you know what I'm actually not finding it as tough as I first anticipated it was going to be. I think just the hardest thing is being able to fit in all my workouts from daily runs to fitting in weight training to making sure that I'm doing enough cardio to trying new classes but mentally I'm feeling really good and physically I'm actually feeling fine. I think I am really trying to take note of what Juliana said about keeping your weights low but making sure that you're doing quite a lot of repetition. Another morning, another gym, tired. Good morning, it's 10.30 and I've finally just about recovered from the spin class I did at 7am this morning. I'm really starting to feel the benefits of getting up early and getting out and getting the exercise done because I feel like it, I, I've got a clearer head, I can have a free evening now and there's definitely something to say for being a gym girl at first thing in the morning. By this point in the challenge, I was feeling royally exhausted, but there was one milestone I hadn't yet hit, and that was a 5K run. 2K. 4K. 
fall and it's raining. <sighs> Sorry, right now. But I did it. I haven't done running for a really long time. I used to love it, but it's been a hot minute since I've managed to enjoy it. So feels like the biggest achievement to be finishing this challenge on a 5K. Ooh, now I need to go shower. The most important takeaway from this challenge is that it has been absolutely exhausting. However, the the change I've seen in my my mental health, my focus, just how I feel day to day after I've done a workout has been completely different. And I think moving forward, I'm definitely going to make sure that I'm sticking to a schedule of of exercising. I haven't felt this this positive and this good about my health as I have in a really long time. So that's definitely the key takeaway. On the Royally Challenging scale, I would give the Duchess of Cambridge's workout routine a nine out of 10. This was tough. It was incredibly tough. And I think I pushed myself to try things that I have never ever done before. If you want to join me for the next Royally Challenging video, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment in the section below about what challenge you want to see next.